example, let me. OK, so here, first of all, I need to go to my portal. That is portal.office.com. So this is the demonstration that how we can use the encryption in our environment. So let me sign in first. <coughs> Let me sign in with my tenant here. So this is how I can log into the portal. You can see it on a big screen. So this is the landing page of the Office 365 and here I can go to the Outlook. So the Office 365 message encryption I can use with Outlook web app. Now this is the Outlook web app. Outlook on the web. Now we call it. Previously we used to call this OVA Outlook web app. But now there's a change in the name. We call it Outlook on the web. So here I can click on new message and let's say I'm sending a message to a external email address. So here I can send this message to an external email address. And here I can add the subject. So here I can add the subject, right? And I can add the subject. I can add the message body. So I'm sending a message here. So this is the normal message. This is the uh, normal message when I'm sending a message to an external recipient. In case in I want to encrypt the message, I can use this encryption option. So here this now when as soon as I click on this encrypt, the message will be encrypted. So when now if I click on send, if I click on send, the message will be sent as an encrypted message. Now, let me show you that how the encrypted messages can be viewed by the users here. So let me log in to this account quickly. So this way I can log in here and I can show you the message over here quickly. So this is how we receive this encrypted message. As I said that whenever we send a message, the message will be delivered with the default uh, templates of Microsoft and whenever we send an encrypted message, the message will be delivered with an HTML attachment. Let me show you here. So this is the HTML attachment. In order to read this message, I need to click on this read button. And if I uh, if you remember, we discussed about the advanced encryption options where we can change the brandings. I was talking about these branding options. I can send I can change these branding options. I can change this read the message button. I can change the background color as well. I can change this disclaimer and the privacy statement of these encrypted messages. So this way we can perform the actions. We can use the advanced message encryption and this way with the advanced message encryption, the messages can be encrypted. Now, in order to read this message, I can click on read the message option over here. Now, as soon as I click on read this message, it will redirect me to the Office 365 portal. See at the top, if you take a look on the URL, this is not the, the Gmail URL that we are using to read this particular message, as you can see on the screen itself. So uh, here we have this advanced, sorry, we have this Office 365 uh, portal where I'm viewing this message, right? So here I need to make sure that only the uh, the I, I can make sure that here we we are going to read this message. So this way this this information can be uh, can be understood can be read and we have this uh, protected message that has been sent and now in order to view the protected message this information can be read. So here I need to sign in to view the message. I can sign in with a one time passcode. That means I can generate a one time passcode in order to read the message or I can sign in with Gmail account with my Google account. So with this, with these options, I can now make sure that only the intendant and only the authorized users can read this message. Now I need to go back and here I need to sign in with a one time passcode. Let me quickly 
show that how the one time passcode I can I have received here. So this is the one time passcode that I have received to view the message. I need to copy this one time passcode. I can enter this one time passcode in here. I can now click on continue and then only I can view. I can read this message as you can see again when I'm viewing the message. I'm not on the third party uh, or I'm not on the Gmail platform anymore. This is the Office 365 platform where I'm viewing this message. So see that now I can view the message and this way we can send the encrypted messages and we can make sure that only the intended recipients uh, can read this message. OK, so here uh, this way the messages can be read by the users in the production environments when we send uh, the encrypted messages and with the help of these encryption options, the messages can be sent as an encrypted message. I was also talking about the transport rules that we 